Oh my god, it's a face. <laughs> Who is this? Is this oh. Edward from Twilight? Yes, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, I spread it out and there's these eyes watching me. It's terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Well, so we're here with Robert Pattinson. Hey guys, it's Amanda. We are on the way, on our way to the El Capitan for the Dumbo opening night fan event. Uh, it, there's gonna be like circus performers and props on display and fun stuff like that. Uh, my outfit for the day includes, I don't have a Dumbo shirt, but since this movie is directed by Tim Burton, I decided to wear a Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. And I do have Dumbo buttons from the AP sneak peek that happened in Disneyland a couple weeks ago. And Thomas is here. Hey guys, good to see you again. You've got a villain's shirt on, I see. Yeah. Um I don't have a Dumbo t-shirt or any of my Burton shirts, but I thought, oh well, this this is colorful enough for today. Yes, and show us our special guest. Oh yes, you brought. yes, 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 I brought a special guest with us just for the event. Say hello to little Dumbo here. Yes. I found him last night at the um, Century Stadium. I thought, you know what? He deserves to he deserves to come with us this time. So yes. he's gonna give a little wave with his giant <laughs> foot. Hello, Dumbo, and hello Maggie, who's driving us once again saw on the D23 anniversary event and uh, we're heading to dinner now and then we're going to head to the movie. two weeks ago for the premiere and a very famous guy called Michael Buffer said these very famous words before we saw the movie for the very first time and I'm gonna say it right now so I hope you guys all enjoy the movie let's get ready for Dumbo another round of applause for Joseph Gatt He really does play a really snarky kind of guy.
we are almost back home following the movie, so let's talk about it. So, Thomas, you can start. Tell us your thoughts on Dumbo. Thanks, Amanda. Well, I have to say, I absolutely loved Dumbo. Probably one of my favorite movies so far of this year. Um, definitely, definitely one of Burton's best. Um, made me cry, not gonna lie. It was that good. I definitely encourage people to go see it. You won't be disappointed. I liked it a lot as well. I'm trying to think of some details to talk about here. I really like Danny DeVito, but like, when is Danny DeVito not great? Um, what else? It was definitely pretty solemn and a little bit slow in some parts. It, it wasn't like, I don't know, because the last movie I saw was Captain Marvel and it was definitely not as high energy, which isn't really a bad thing, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, what else? Definitely very cute. Uh, lots of cute animals. And Dumbo himself is very cute. A uh, few good callbacks to the original movie with the pink elephants, with the feather, with Casey Jr. But a lot of differences besides that, which uh, pretty indicative from the trailers. But uh, definitely, definitely a different plot, I'd say overall, than the original movie. Um, I I thought that the the plot with the with Millie, the daughter, with her and the science stuff, I felt like that was a little bit too forced. It kind of reminded me of Karina in Pirates 5, where it's like, it's important to have feminism in there, but it's like, if they're th throwing it in your face, it feels, it, it does feel kind of forced and it's not natural. And it's like, you can tell that they're going out of their way to make a statement, it kind of felt like. And she was just kind of soft-spoken and stuff and just didn't have a lot of energy. So I wasn't a huge fan of her character. What else is there to say? It was predictable enough, for one thing. Like, I could tell from the trailers, like, all right, Michael Keaton, the character, is going to, like, try to try to buy Dumbo and whatever. And... And... What was I going to say? I, it kind of surprised me that they... Because I, I kind of expected them to push back a little bit when when Michael Keaton's character wanted to buy Dumbo, but they just kind of went right in and they were like, wait, maybe we shouldn't do this. So that's that was kind of different than I expected. But yeah, I think that covers most of it. I think overall it was a good, enjoyable film uh, and we had a really good time. So, bye. Bye.